Nothing too earth shattering here, but these are what we call our base dribbling drills. So we want to master our base dribbling drills as much as we can. So these are our right hand pounds. Again, if you've watched youth basketball videos or for that have worked out with me before, this is the same stuff. So right hand pounds to left hand pounds. Every day we spend at least five to 10 minutes doing our base dribbling. So right hand to left hand pounds to crosses. These are just our crossovers, right to left, right to left, right to left. We can do pound crosses where we pound it once and then cross, pound, cross, pound, cross, pound, cross, pound, cross. Good. We do our in-out dribbling with one hand, right hand in-out. Every day, five minutes a day. This is what we've challenged our groups with. Left hand in-out. So these are eight and nine-year-olds. There's things we can obviously do a little better. We want to do in-out cross. In, out, cross, in, out, cross, in, out, cross. Good. We want to do our push pull on the side. So now we're on our right hand side doing push pulls. We go to our left. Left push pulls which should be the hardest for first timers. When we started this, you'll be surprised if you did five minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. In the winter, we do 30 minutes a day. Okay, we wanna do figure eights. Try to do a five dribble figure eight. These are our base dribbling drills. This is where we start everything. What I like about what they do is they don't move their feet a whole, a whole, a whole lot. Their feet are locked in and not moving too much. Okay, we'll do behind the back. This will be the hardest one for them, so the balls may go all over the place, but we go behind the back. We want to snap it. We prefer them not to wrap it, not to have to look. My, the oldest boy, my oldest boy here is not having to look too much. But if to make it simpler, we can do pound crosses behind the back. So pound cross to make it easier. If you can't do it, pound, pound, snap, pound, snap, pound, snap, pound, snap. Okay, so these are, again, our base dribbling drills. You do them longer than what we're doing them, but just to demonstrate we're doing it. So what we do now is we get in a drive stance. I call this a drive stance, and we just go between the legs. If you can't do it again, if this is too hard, we do pound pound between the legs so pound between the pound between the legs pound between the legs so that is with their left foot forward now we switch legs we do it again base dribbling every single day we do these okay now we try to combo some of them together so they'll face uh, be square to me they're going to do what we call in out step between the legs so there's a bunch of the in out step between the legs and back, and then they do it with the other hand. In, out, step between the legs and back. In, out, step between the legs and back, okay? Camden is doing it from the back, where the ball comes from the back side. Tyler is doing it where it comes from the front side. Do it both from the front, Camden. In, out, step between the legs. In, out, step between the legs. So now it's coming from the front side. Boom, in, out, step between the legs. In, out, step between the legs. Good, now we can do it from the back side. So now you'll be bringing it from the back. In, out, step between the legs and back. In, out, step between the legs and back. These are, I break the year up into segments. Our dribbling here is what we typically do November, December, January, February, where we just dribble for four months and we do these drills nonstop for four months. Okay, so from here, uh, that is our base dribbling. We do a lot of other dribbles off, off of a, uh, off, off of scoring moves, but we also do a lot with two ball dribbling, but that's our base dribbling one ball that, that we should do every day for five to 10 minutes.